Hi, I'm Vincent Worley. I'm talking with Doug Robinson, a, a flooring expert with 25 years in the flooring business. Um, we're talking about hardwoods today, and uh, Doug, are there are there any differences between you know the different species of wood? I guess oak and, and can you explain? Sure, sure, absolutely. There's a lot of trees out there in the world, yeah. so <laughs> no doubt that there's a lot of differences between them. Uh, obviously, the visual difference, which I'll talk, touch on in a minute, but obviously the difference in density of the tree is out there also. An exotic tree is a very dense tree, so your uh, crush resistant is very high, but it doesn't mean that a soup cane couldn't possibly indent the floor. Okay. You get to a very soft on the other end of it with a maple or a pine or an American cherry, and it can indent much more readily, but it's still both floors can indent with dropped objects, and there is no warranty on that. However, common sense rules the day. Sure. If you have a growing family and you really love the idea of having a wood floor, which will add value to a house and it's a great purchase, no doubt that an oak floor may be the best way to go. It's a fairly dense floor, fairly affordable. As you can see from the representation we have here, it's offered in two different, two different gloss levels, a low gloss or a semi-gloss, and you have a nice color variation in the floor, which will help to hide things. Sure. You can get into a hand scrape visual, which also will have a color variance, and because it's a rustic hand scrape, which again will hide that with the, uh, any type of scratching that's going to occur over the course of the life of the floor. If you have a very contemporary home, a very higher end home, and you want to get a maple, birch type of clean linear look, then obviously a maple or a birch floor would suffice your needs too. So I look at the differences more visual than I will as far as wearability goes, but again, you can't have a, a soft floor and you can't have a hard floor. Okay. So uh, again, I, I guess you probably clean them all the same way. It doesn't matter the species, just really you know, use yes. common sense. Correct. Use the approved stuff, I guess? Yes, or? absolutely. It's a very easy floor to maintain. Follow the recommend recommendations manufacturers all obviously give you, but it's an easy floor to maintain. You Swiffer or dry vac drive back the floor and then use a Swiffer with the appropriate cleaner. Uh, very easy floor to maintain. And also, if you do happen to get a floor that gets marred, it's a very easy floor to repair. You simply cut the board out, put a new board in, Good idea to have a box left over at the end of that job, put it in dry storage somewhere in case such a, an event would happen. Okay, thanks, Doug. Quite welcome.